It's not what was said, it's how it was understood which is important. And uh, that's why bullying, uh, verbal bullying, that's why Islamophobia, that's why uh, racism is always an issue. That was exactly the issue that um, I had my squabble with Nigel Farage over. Um, he thought uh, what uh, David, uh, was it called David Coburn? Uh, David Coburn, he thought uh, David Coburn had said something which was a joke. Other people interpreted it as uh, offensive. It was offensive. And, um, and he didn't take that seriously. And Baroness Vorsi uh, is, um, is stepping into this issue as well. And uh, various other people are talking about the structural Islamophobia within the Conservative Party. I don't think there is such a thing as structural Islamophobia. I think what there is is structural contempt for anybody who gets in the way of the power system. This is about speaking down. This is about losing, uh, using slogans to belittle uh, anybody who is um, in the path of the conservative juggernaut. The same thing could be said, I would imagine, about Labour. It's about sloganizing and not thinking through the effect that uh, the comments that are made could, um, could have on other people. Uh, and and it's about using terms as tags rather than as meaningful um, concepts. So she's right that Sunak needs to find the language to call Islamophobia Islamophobia. I think she needs to find, I, I think he needs to get out there and make it clear without... Um, without tying himself in knots about what he uh, about um, the legality of it all, I think he needs to make it very clear that um, singling out portions of society uh, and particularly uh, singling out um, uh, Muslim peoples and groups as the um, as the source of the problems. This is really the issue because there are many people marching on Saturdays who are not Muslim, who are supporting Palestine, and uh, there there are also many people who are um, criticizing Israel. Though the the move from criticizing Israel to anti-Semitism is a move towards sloganizing the issues rather than humanizing the issues and the move away from uh, identifying political objectives and identifying political problems. It's, um, I, I think it's a difficult move to make. Uh, but if you're, if all you are doing is dealing in slogans, it's very easy to move from one slogan to another. And that is the problem. This government and uh, the people it, um, uh, it is championing needs to move they need need to move away from sloganizing and needs to start um, making sense. They need to stop copy pasting ideas from one place and just simply have their own ideas.